Well, Meechus had a 7.2 earthquake not too far from where I live. I'd say maybe 85 to 100 miles away. Um, this house I'm in really shook. Um, just want to share some media and some photographs. I didn't capture anything of the camera shaking, unfortunately. House moving from one side to the other, and my daughter was uh, upstairs with the baby, and she didn't believe me. I said, yeah, get down right away. We went outside just to make sure that we're not inside the house, and then we saw neighbors, so she said, yeah, you're right, but I didn't think that it's so, so hard. My One quake, and then we're also getting a report of an aftershock near Imperial, California, 5.1 in magnitude. We have been on the phone with emergency officials. They've I felt that 5.1. That's when I showed the lamp. It can't um, see no it. One, no one, no injuries so far. So far, we're getting reports of people who have been uh, stuck in elevators, uh, some power outages, uh, but we're getting reports on social media that there were plates were felt elsewhere. So one person said he felt it as far as Seattle. Other people are saying they felt it as far as Arizona. So this was a big one. 6.9. We're going to talk to more uh, emergency officials and get you some pictures live from the ground in California when we return from a break. Don't go anywhere. Breaking news on CNN. I'm There was at least a one or two light aftershocks, I guess is what you could call them, because... ...damage in the area, the San Diego man says that he didn't even realize that the shaking was an earthquake until an employee there at the business told him as he and his wife were running out. Upgraded to a 7.2, so a very strong earthquake, as we heard from Dr. Pat Abbott, uh, our resident geologist, uh, telling us one of the largest he's ever heard of or felt here in San Diego. And we did have some aftershocks. We had three, at least, uh, of sizable amounts. We had a 3.1, a 4.5, and then a 5.1 taking place in the southeast of Tijuana. We actually caught up with several people as they made their way here through the San Ysidro Port of Entry who said that they were actually down in Tijuana. We don't have uh, any official report out of Mexico right now on the damage, but the people that we talked to who were actually down in Tijuana at the time say that they did notice some things kind of falling off the shelves, which is consistent with some of the things that we heard here at the port of entry. A number of the businesses here in the area saw some things falling off some shelves and did have a few broken items. Now, we did catch up with one man in particular, Andrew Block. He was down in Tijuana at the time when the earthquake hit. Here's what he had to say. It was a little crazy. The whole building started shaking, and then uh, I noticed everyone started heading for the doors. So I grabbed my wife and ran out as fast as possible.